थैंक यू थैंक यू श्री जयंत सिंह जी महोदय आज आपने अवसर दिया इस बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण बिल पे अपना पक्ष रखने के लिए उसका समर्थन करने के लिए मैं आपको धन्यवाद देता चाहता हूं और भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सांसद होने के नाते मुझे बहुत गर्व हो रहा है कि आज इतना एक ऐतिहासिक और क्रांतिकारी विधेयक को हम लोग पारित कर रहे हैं लेकिन साथ साथ भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सांसद के साथ साथ मैं आई दिल्ली का भी एक ग्रेजुएट हूं और इंजीनियर होने के नाते जो इस क्रांतिकारी बिल को हम लोग आज पारित कर रहे हैं पूरे साइंटिफिक और इंजीनियरिंग कम्युनिटी की तरफ से मैं इसका स्वागत करता हूं इसका अभिनंदन करता हूं और ये आज एक ऐतिहासिक दिन इसलिए भी है कि हम लोग आज अपने चंद्रयान रॉकेट के द्वारा लूनर ऑर्बिट में हमारे साइंटिस्ट और इंजीनियर इस रॉकेट को ले आए हैं और जो आज उनको प्रोत्साहन मिलेगा इस विधेयक के द्वारा ना सिर्फ हम लोग चंद्रमा तक पहुंचेंगे हम लोग मार्स भी पहुंचेंगे और सोलर सिस्टम को हम लोग पार भी करेंगे ये आज हमारे साइंटिस्ट और इंजीनियर को प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है सब मान्य सदस्यों को मालूम है और मुझे बड़ा दुख हो रहा है कि हमारे विपक्ष के साथी यहां नहीं है ये सब बातें सुनने के लिए रितेश जी हैं और तो कोई नहीं है चलिए आप ही आप ही हैं आप उसको जरूर सबके सामने उसका प्रचार करिएगा कि माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के कुशल और साहसिक नेतृत्व के कारण आज दसवें नंबर से हम लोग पांचवें नंबर पे आए में आए हैं हमारी अर्थव्यवस्था पे और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने गारंटी दी है कि अगले कार्यकाल में जहां हम लोगों को प्रचंड बहुमत की सरकार फिर मिलने वाली है कि हम लोग तीसरे नंबर पे आएंगे लेकिन ऐसे ऐसे बहुत कम बहुत कम हम लोग यहां कानून पारित करते हैं जिसको पारित करके हमें विश्वास होने लग जाता है कि सिर्फ तीन नंबर पर नहीं लेकिन एकदम टॉप में हमारी अर्थव्यवस्था आएगी क्योंकि अगर इक्कीसवीं सदी किसी की भी सदी है तो वो साइंस और इंजीनियरिंग की सदस्य की सदी है और इस बिल के द्वारा हम लोग साइंटिफिक और इंजीनियरिंग रिसर्च जो कटिंग एज पे करेंगे उसको हम लोग एक बहुत क्रांतिकारी और बहुत ठोस कदम हम लोग इसके द्वारा लेने वाले हैं इट इज वेल नोन दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द साइंटिफिक एंड इंजीनियरिंग प्रावर्स ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट ऑफ अमेरिका इज ड्यू टू द नेशनल साइंस फाउंडेशन वेर पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर टू थ्रू पियर फंडेड peer reviewed grants they have built up capabilities in many different scientific disciplines and what the honorable minister the honorable prime minister have done through the national research foundation is enable india to establish the same kind of capabilities in many many important scientific and engineering disciplines including artificial intelligence honorable ministers have talked about quantum computing we have a quantum mission underway we are doing very very sophisticated research in green hydrogen as jagdambika pal ji said we are going to be taking very major steps in semiconductors and very very importantly in space research as well through the establishment of the national research foundation and there are three or four aspects to this that i think are very important for honorable <laughs> members to realize number one that this will be staffed with the best experts the best scientists in the world whether they may be from india or around the world through an independent expert body that will establish directorates for these disciplines and ensure that we spread the funds widely across our country to do appropriate targeted research and here i want to add which is a very important point for honorable members to consider that not only the iits of which of course i am a proud graduate and the iits are doing cutting edge scientific and engineering work in many disciplines but also in other universities and research institutions across india these peer reviewed competitive grants will be provided so that we build capacity we build capability and we build world class expertise across india and i dare say and i will proudly say that in my own hazari bagh where we have the largest university in jharkhand vinoba bhave university we are doing exemplary research in mining in geology in tribal studies and i will very much hope because we are including humanities also where we can do scientific and sociological research through these kinds of grants through these kinds of experts that even vinoba bhave will benefit greatly and all the universities and institutes in your constituency will also benefit greatly from the kind of grant making and the kind of expertise that we will be building through the national research foundation it is indeed it is indeed a historic bill and i am really really sad as the honorable minister said that our members of the opposition are not here to be able to appreciate it and understand how important and how game changing this is for india and for india's economy and india's scientific and engineering community our startup ecosystem will benefit where does where does the innovation come from that powers our startups 
if we have to build world beating companies like google and apple and meta they have come out of stanford university they have come out of the university of california berkeley they have come out of mit they have come out of caltech they have come out of harvard university unless we provide that type of support and encouragement to our research institutes and to our universities we will not beat these world leading companies we will not create our own world leading industries and that will hurt our job creation that will hurt our competitiveness in the long run so this bill is vitally important for our human development <clears throat> for our universities and for the growth of new industries in india as well and i must commend second point i want to emphasize i must commend the minister and all all the experts that have worked on this is that the design the design of the national research foundation which is going to bring experts from around the world which is going to be independent which is going to have these different directorates has been done very very thoughtfully and here i must point out that the funding as the minister said the funding for this is going to come from multiple sources so far most of our science and engineering has only received funding from the government and as jamdika pal ji said a lot of it in the state governments has been very very modest but here not only are we going to mobilize the resources of the national government but we are going to mobilize the resources of the corporate sector of philanthropies of institutions around the world all of that can be collected through the national research foundation and then provided to a diverse set of institutions across india this is a revolution in the making we have to understand how important this bill is i want everyone to recognize that what the honorable prime minister the honorable minister have done through this is to really transform india's engineering and scientific thank you very much and thank that's you. why i stand in support of this and i wish my colleagues from the opposition were here as well thank you aaj aaj jo hum log krantikari kadam le rahe hain is krantikari kadam se bharat ki arthavyavastha ko aur bharat ke aitihas ka hum kaya kalp kar rahe hain aapko iske liye bahut bahut dhanyawad bahut bahut dhanyawad sabse nivedan karu manya mantri ji manya mantri मंत्री जी आप आप